All right, guys, so we are going to talk about alignment and how that can affect the rotation in your golf swing for the good or for the worse. All right, guys, I'm back out with Ed Lasseter, and we are going to talk this week about how alignment can either make your golf swing or break your golf swing. So, you know, I, I, I was in Oklahoma City a week ago, and I had a gentleman who was aimed about, you know, 80 yards to the right of his target, just cutting across the golf ball, and he was wondering why he couldn't get anything on the golf ball, and why he was flipping, why he was scooping, why he was in all sorts of issues, and, and we fixed that so fast once we got his alignment down right, and he is loving life. But I want you to talk to me, you know, first off, tell me what you think decent alignment is. We know, based on TrackMan, that the face sends it and the path bends it. Sure. And if my face is at my intended target, if my body is not parallel to that, in most cases, in most amateurs, when they align the, the club face, they look over their shoulder and they immediately think that their body is significantly left. Mm -hmm. Their reaction to that is to start doing this. Mm -hmm. The more I turn my body to the right and my intent is to swing to the left, I have to shut my body off completely, throw the club, and now my left side's in the way just to get this thing back to the target. And then it makes their slice even worse. Yes. So more times than not, if people can understand that if this club face is pointed at that orange stick and my feet are parallel to this side, now I give myself a chance to clear my left side out of the way, start that ball from the inside, and have that little baby draw as I finish up. I would almost rather see most amateurs err on the Lee Trevino side and be too open mm -hmm. than the other. Yeah. Because And then whenever you, uh, we set up this training uh, station here so that you understand that this is your toe line and this is your start line. I would love for amateurs to walk in and align this to here and get every single ball to start to the right some amount. Get that thing to start to the right, get that thing starting to move left yeah. just a little bit. Yeah. If that thing is moving left and going left, you're off. Sure. You got to have a little more right side bend. You got to start it a little more right or what, yada, yada, yada. Sure. And it's going to confuse your brain because especially if you're a good player, you know that your brain is so used to seeing a certain thing. And then all of a sudden, it's, it's like watching that 3D movie without the glasses on. I, I, I know your brain is going to be confused for a bit. And you know what? That's okay. Yeah. Because if you're feeling the same way you've always felt, you're not making a change. Sure. You have to feel a little uncomfortable. Sure. That's why you don't go at full speed. Sure. You actually slow it down so that your brain can start to metabolize how your body's moving differently. So I, what I would say to you is that just remember that when you set up, as long as your head doesn't come up and look down your shoulders, if your head is tilting down the imaginary line of this target, you're actually going to see the face is actually out to the right of where your body is. Now, it's going to be really exaggerated with a 46 inch driver. Sure. Right? You're going to feel like, oh, I'm aiming at the left rough. In reality, you're not. The face is aiming at the center of the fairway. Sure. So one thing I, I, I've always noticed with, you know, high handicappers is they will do that alignment thing, but subconsciously they try and get their face point of the target. So if they're the big slicer and they start aiming more and more left to account for that slice, yes. That slice just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and goes farther into the houses. You know, they'll they'll try and orient the face of the target and it'll just lead to absolute disaster. So I think this station here, I I love this for all my players. It it puts them in a position, you know, where they can visually see what they want the ball to do and it's right there. It's right in front of their eyes so they can get the idea of what of what they want to do. So why don't you give me a, a, a classic example of what you want to see when someone squares up to a golf ball. So when they pick their intended start line, as they walk in, the club face will be pointed at their target. Their feet will be parallel to that some amount. Obviously, the farther I am, the more it's going to appear like it's left. And then from here, it's a lot easier now to return that thing from the inside and compress it. Sure. So you like all your players to start from behind a golf ball and then walk in when they're trying to get good alignment? I do. The only time I would say don't 
is if you have one of these odd lies ball below your feet, sure. above your feet, because we know low point is the number one kicker sure. for those shots, right? Because we're taking our expectations down, we're adding a club, yada, 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 but we need, but low point is key, so they have to know where the low point is for that odd lie. But as a general rule, it's hard to visualize your shot when you're parallel to it. Sure. You can't visualize how you're going to walk in, how you're going to actually see that ball fly. Sure. And visualization is a huge key Absolutely. in performance. So if you're coming in from the backside down the line and you've done all your think box stuff over here, your preparation, and once you cross that line, set yourself up, one look, one breath, and pull the trigger. Sure. Right? Because we don't want paralysis by analysis. Sure. I like all that. I, I, I think alignment is your biggest friend in, in golf if done well. I think you can offset from time to time if you need to sure. certain shot shapes. And I've, I've, I've done the cheat codes for some players when I've been out on these tours and, and proved them. But I think if you want to be a really good golfer, you have to learn how to set yourself up for success, for yeah. sure. And of course, there are always variables, right? Yes. You have certain people, look, humans are messy. So one guy might have a, a little hip issue. Uh, he, he may be a little older, yeah. so he can't make enough of a turn. So then maybe he needs to maybe drop that right foot back a little bit, open his right hip a little bit so he can get a bigger turn. Sure. Everyone, there's no one set rule. Sure. But as a general, mm -hmm. this is kind of a nice way to start. Absolutely. Absolutely. I agree. I hope this video helps you guys understand how to set up for success in your golf swing. And I want to thank Ed for shooting these videos with me. It's been a great time down here in San Diego. Hope it helps your game. Hey guys, if you like this video, click like, subscribe. I come out with new content every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday.